Hello, Vinyl Community. How are ya? I, uh, I've been doing this series here and, uh, and hoping that you guys ain't getting tired of it yet. Anyhow, my name's Bill Young and this is the Michigan Record Club. And I like psych. <laughs> Should be like a sticker that says that, but uh, we're gonna just keep moving right along and uh, show you some of the records I have collected over the past uh, past few years, and. Uh, And, you know, at the end, maybe we'll, we'll talk some more about uh, the whole genre of psych in general. Anyhow, first I have to eliminate a fire hazard. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, and the uh, tip of the hat to... Noble Records. Dylan, I love you, brother. All right. Moving right along. We're going to start out with... Oops. Okay. With uh, Crimson and Clover. Tommy James and the Shondells. Um, good song. Uh, pretty much straight up. Uh, pop, but uh, they got a little bit of psych in there. Then we have Surrealistic Pillow. This album is uh, an icon. This one is one of the uh, cornerstones for the whole psych movement back in the uh, late 60s this uh was part of the san francisco scene uh part of the uh you know the uh summer of love but that coincides with the coming of of psych and moving along we have, oh, Claire's bad. We have Jerusalem. Uh, that looks to be like a uh, Christian crusader. Here happens to be what the band looks like. This is great hard rock music. Um, not a whole lot of uh, psych elements to it, but there's a few. Similar to Josephus and the uh, the whole Josephus catalog. I have this one, which usually we refer to as the first one. And then I'm not sure of how they go, but of course this is uh, Dead Man, which is one of the most sought after of the series, I think, my humble opinion. Uh, there's Josephus, uh, Get Off My Case. A lot of the music kind of overlaps a little bit from one album to the other, because they didn't really create that much music. They just like to put out albums. <laughs> This is after they got back together and then uh, they created this album, uh, Son of a Dead Man. Um, not sure how many uh, original band members are there. Uh, maybe most of them, I don't know. Ah, oh, it kind of reminds me of Jerusalem, but this is Stone Age Man. By Joseph. Joseph. 
put out a really hard rocking sound. Um, there are definite elements of psych in there too. This album is straight up psych. And this is a what I would actually refer to as uh, heavy psych because it's not heavy rock, but it's heavy psych. Not quite so heavy, but quite entertaining. Uh, the Lemon Peppers, they came out with a couple albums. Um, not sure if I have more than one. No, all I have is one. CAC. Oh, I won't go on. I won't start again. Uh, to me, this is a cornerstone for a site collection. Um, it was one that I was missing and one that I'm glad to have finally found a good spot for it. Right, my collection. <laughs> uh, one of the kaleidoscopes. This is the kaleidoscope side trips. trips. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this was the American one. I don't, I'm not an authority on the kaleidoscope. Black Kangaroo by Peter Conan. Hard to pronounce his name. Right, Steve Carlson? Can't pronounce your names, so we just hack them. Good album, though. A little bit of psych. Uh, Leaf Hound. A lot of psych. This is trippy. In a good way. Uh, not too heavy. Um, just, <laughs> it's a pretty good, pretty good psych album. I'd say it ranks up there with uh, Gandalf and, uh, and you know, some of the other ones, uh, the 13th Floor Elevators. This one's pretty good too. Lincoln Street Exit. Great, great, heavy rock. Um, I think this is out of uh, Texas. I'm not sure. There's an Indian and a cowboy and another Indian. I think it should be Texas. If it isn't. Oh, well. Good stuff. Mainstream. Love the, always love the mainstream label. Lincoln County. Oh, wonderful find this year. Hi, Hope. And I have Hope here to say hello. Oh, she's got to give me a kiss on the nose. Yeah, I, it's great. I, uh, I talked about it and talked about it. And glad I found it. I think I need two copies of it. That's how much I love this album. The Lollipop Shop. I was offered an opportunity to buy a an original copy of uh, Lollipop Shop. Or to go with this one. It, I think it was 20 bucks or something. And so I went with this one. I really wanted to hear it. I wanted to, you know, make sure that I had a good quality sound to it. And now I did. And now I'm happy to start looking for uh, an OG maybe. Yeah, that's good. It's a good album. Mm, Lost Nation. Talked about this one not too long ago. Go. Good stuff. Love Arthur Lee. He, he, he just, the man oozes psychedelia. I mean, the shirts and he wears and everything about him. And uh, 
This is a good one. Forever changes. I have a, I have a few of them. H.P. Lovecraft. Now this is good sight. Again, uh, I probably should have started this from the beginning, but this is one. Of, this is a. a uh, five-star psych album to me my humble opinion and i think you know people should have it in their uh, collection maybe both of them hard to pick which one a lot of people say they like this one better so yeah. lovecraft this one is Oh, it's it's good. There's a couple songs that kick it up a little bit, but probably my least favorite of the series. Everybody's heard me talk about MacArthur, a local band, private label, kick ass rock and roll. Love it, love it, love it. And when you can follow it up with MacArthur 2, which is an extremely rare album because it has not been released, re-released. So you have to get a OG for this if you want to hear it. And I am glad I have it. McDowell and Giles. I understand, but boy, it's just pushing prog to the limit to call it psych. Ah, this is a good psych album. This one's uh, Harvey Mandel. This is uh, Christo, a redeemer. Uh, of all of his albums, that one is my favorite, I think. I, I do believe it should uh, hit all the marks. This one, Marmalade. Reflections of my life. Straight up rock and roll. Oh, May Blitz. This is, uh, I, I would refer to it as uh, uh, Crow Rock, but uh, I'm not really. Sure, if I'm qualified to uh, give it any names, could be written by by Americans. I don't know. Oh, good, good, good album. Uh, if you get the chance to watch the movie, uh, this half of it, the documentary is uh, quite good too. Yeah, talks a lot about. Uh, how the state of metal was during, you know, its big boom. Speaking of big booms, Mighty Baby, awesome, hard rock. Mindbenders, ooh, got a groovy kind of love, a little bit soft, a little bit too mellow. Pretty good sight. Ah, will be great. We got some great jam. Yeah, here we got. Ooh, it's giving everybody the finger. And it has the poster in it. Well, I got two of them. This one without the finger. And some little rough shape. Um, it, but it doesn't have the poster, so if anybody uh, wants to give it a try, let me know. Moby Grape 69. That is good Moby Grape. And if that wasn't enough, Moby Grape Live.
Hey, and the monkeys. And they're monkeying around, trying to make us believe they know sight. The birds, the bees, the monkeys. And Aquarius Capricorn Jones. There's the monkeys. This is a, a, a soundtrack to the movie called Head. It was kind of a trippy movie. Definitely a trippy album. Morgan. Yes, sir. Hard rock. I don't know if it's cornerstone to a good site collection, but it's if you like that hard rock. Psych. Yeah. It's pretty good. The Move. Omnibus. Yeah, I like this. This is a lot of straight up jazz. I mean, uh, jazz. Psych. Uh, boy, I don't know where that came from. Live. Live tape. We don't edit nothing out. Shazam. A little bit too commercial, a little bit too bubblegum pop for me. Moving sidewalks, flash. There is uh, Billy Gibbons, and uh, they really are talented. This is such a talented group, and this is basically all they really came up with. Maybe a few other songs. Uh, I'd like to get a live, um, maybe a bootleg or something of them. Oh, Mystic Silva. This has uh, roots right here in uh, this area, I believe. I don't know. Oh, no. I, I think I'm mistaken. Ah, oh, Naz Naz, of course, uh, the leader of this group would be Todd Rundgren. I believe uh, Naz Naz is on colored vinyl. Yeah. This is a dark red. This was back before. Um, back when colored vinyl was not as good as black vinyl because they don't have the high impact density uh, vinyl like they or nowadays they do but back then they didn't Nectar remember the future a little proggy. It's okay. Nectar. I like this one. This one is good. A lot of good psych in there. Ah, yes. Neon Pearls. This was uh, sent to me uh, DCLT by uh, Deadwax66. Here we have New. It is experimental psych, I guess is what I would consider calling it. Would you believe Billy Nichols? Yeah, I'd believe him. This is some really good music. His original album, like ones in mono, some extra song. It was just, it took the original song and uh, expanded on it. It's really great. Low number. Uh, I think it's a 70, I'm not sure. Anyhow. Oh, yes. The other half. Another important album that you would want. Ah, yes, Bruce Palmer. 
There's some good hippie music. I love this kind of folk psych. Uh, it, it's really good. A uh, couple of pulpers here. I got uh, High in the Mid 60s, uh, Volume 5, Michigan. <laughs> uh, I got a. Uh, well, there's another people I knew I had. Uh, oh, Mount Rushmore. Excellent. High on Mount Rushmore. Definitely want to jam out to that. A couple of albums. I sent a couple of these records out to uh, Andre. Uh, this is Handle there. Uh, one of the lady. Anyhow, Andre, hope you enjoy it. Uh, Parish Hall, picked this one up at the last, uh, last record store day that when they offered it. But, uh, and there we go. We uh, got another square in. That one took a little bit more time, uh, but I think the rest of them will go rather quick. Uh, I only have two more. Um, we can push on it and try to put them all together down here. Or uh, we'll go through them one at a time. I'm not very good with selfies, holding a camera. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.